Hey there guys, welcome back to the Ultimate Road to Glory series. I thought I'd start this episode off by showing you the team of the week. It is outrageous. So many high rated cars. And I was also thinking with the SBC that they dropped on the game and you're going to be getting some awesome packs if you unlock it. Should I say those for team of the season? Nope. I'm going to open them for this week's team of the week. Look at it. Mental. You've got Quincy Proms that we're trying out in today's episode. Shakiri. Amazing. Jonas. Leno. Uh, Socrates. Company. Herrera. Carrasco, like all of the team of the week starting 11 looks good. Maybe not so much Zapata, but you know, you can't have it all your own way. So I'm liking that. And with our rewards that we've received from the weekend league, I'm not going to open the 100k pack at all. Saving that for team of the season. What we will open though, maybe later on tonight or tomorrow, the three player team of the week pack. Even Isco. I don't really like Isco so much on the game, but he does look good. So let's go and unlock the marquee matchups, get those packs ready, and see if we can finally pack an inform let's do it european tour two and i'm not gonna sit here and say it wasn't hard because it was it was challenging and i thought do i unlock this one as well and i looked through the packs and it's not really worth it i'll show you you've got silver players pack your standard gold pack all players pack and a silver pack mm, nah I, I don't really fancy if you guys want me to unlock it though let me know if that one's easy with this european tour two though yeah like i already mentioned it's hard Look at the packs though. Prime Gold Players Pack, Mega Pack, Jumbo Premium Pack, Premium Gold Pack, and for completing it, you're getting a Players Pack as well. So without further ado, let's jump into England. And yeah, we've all got it ready. So England Players 5, but the thing is, they were asking for four players max from the same league. So you couldn't have just used five English players from the Premier League, otherwise that wouldn't have worked. So I had to get chemistry using this guy in the goalkeeper position. Nationalities five. I mean it wasn't it wasn't easy. Rare players five, team overall AC, we hit that. Yes, you'll be needing loyalty if you if you're copying this exact team. So one prime gold players pack. Next one is France and you can even see my workings at the bottom there. I was thinking right, what do I do? Players from the same league, maximum of two, you were needing to use eight players from France. That's what was tricky, because I uh, was looking at how many French league players I, I dropped in there, which was the goalkeeper and the centre-back. You had two players from the La Liga. It was just awkward to do. 81 overall, I've hit that exactly. 90 chemistry. At first, it looks difficult. Once you've completed it, you think, oh yeah, it's not that bad. But it's completing it, and that's the difficult thing. One mega pack, though, whew, that's a good one. The Germany one wasn't as difficult because they weren't restricting you to two players per league. League's exactly six, though. So you could just stick to the Bundesliga for the Germans. I dropped in Mertzsacker to bring up the rating, and then I went and dropped in some random cars to finish off chemistry. So this one was easy, and we're getting a premium gold players pack. Russian one, I've lost the goalkeeper. Hold on, where is he? I went and purchased him yesterday. There he is. Does that give me full chemistry? Oh, no, 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 no. I bought the wrong keeper. Hold on. What about him? Oh, my goodness me. Okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on. I, I've, I've messed it up. I bought the same keeper. I was wanting him. No, I wasn't. I was wanting maybe him. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Right. How much is he? Let me go and purchase him, and I'll be right back. So, we did purchase the goalkeeper for 950 coins, which isn't so bad when you think about how much we sold these Russian League players last week or the weekend before when they were going for seven, eight thousand coins. I know I cashed in a lot on my main account on the Road to Glory. I did sell a few. So, we've made our money back for sure, and we're completing the set. So, let's go and unlock that. Open up all of these packs. Seriously, today has to be an inform with the quality of the packs, even a discard inform. Jump premium gold pack let's do it come on any walkouts oh nah small flares john terry though oh okay here 83 rated isn't john terry 83 or 84 rated anyway oh no terry got downgraded yeah cahill though 83 that's a good rating i will take that could have been a lot worse um why weren't you the other benfica player striker in form jonas that would have been nice yeah, that's all good. I'll save the mega pack for team. Nah, I'm not saving that mega pack for team of the season. Let's open it now. 30 items. Come on. It's a mega pack. Give me one of those premium quality team of the week cards. Let's do it. Please. Oh, it's a big flare for a second. Could he? It's trolling me right now. It's giving me Xhaka. Another high rated card. Could have been the other Swiss. 
in form from the uh, team of the week, Shakiri. The thing with Shakiri is that he's got the agility, the pace, and nice strength. He's one of those compact players. I'll, I'll have to give him a go. Xhaka, though, yeah, that's, that's okay. Callback, the worst player. Please leave. Please just leave. He is the worst. Uh, loads of consumables. Uh, Hawk chemistry style, that might come in handy. I'll use that on Proms in today's episode. And then we've got Man United badge. All right. The most unique top rated players pack. Who's come up with that? It's not at all. It's, it's just not. Anyway, rare play. Or is it? It could be. No, it includes 12 items. It's not 100k. Let's go though. Come on. Can we get a walkout? Just an inform? Please. No. Oh my. Center back. Oh, Williams. Yeah, he's good. I'll take him. He is good though. Um, Mane. Oh yeah, let's go. I think he's about six. Yeah, I'll sell him now. I've already got his special item. So let me list him up for 4.3 star price. And then I'm hoping that he might go up to like 4K or uh, 4K. 4.3 goes up to 4K. 4.3, maybe like five or 6K. The uh, rest of them, Carrick. No one's worth selling in this pack. Another player's pack for us to unlock. This time, is it going to give out though? That is the question. It's lagging. I don't know if that was actually a lag though. Hmm. Send to mid. Henderson. Okay, I've got it wrong three times. Lilana, good ratings though. I'm not complaining about that. We've had 84, 83, 83 again. It's good. Much better than just receiving uh, any discards. Uh, we've already got him at the club, so let's quickly take a look. 1,700. Not worth selling him for that. I've been told that if you do this on your last pack, it increases the luck. I've still got Harry Kane on there, so maybe we'll want to get rid of him. It's done it. The glitch has been done. Prime Gold Players Pack. Di Marie on the front. It worked. It kind of worked. We've got a huge flare. They are giving out high-rated cards right now. 84 80 get eye. Nice, I think. Um, yeah. Are you guys prepared to see the new creation? I'm sure you are. Look at it. It's looking great. And I wanted to try at least three players. Well, yeah, yeah. Three players from the, the team that I've put together. So the first one is Casimira, 87 rated. I was going to use him in the weekend league with Modric and Kante. I think that's the partnership that I was going for. And I looked at it. Actually, no, he would have been replacing Kante because that wouldn't have been on full chemistry. Anyway, what was I using? Casimiro, Deli Alli, and Modric. That's what I was intending to use, and I thought to myself, me having to drop Kante isn't a good idea. Although, Casimiro could be a nice replacement depending on how he plays for me in this team. So six foot, medium, medium work rates. I did invest in the shadow chemistry style to bring up that pace, which is important. 66 pace on a CDM for me just doesn't cut it. I prefer with my style of playing high pressure, high aggression to have someone that I can move around the pitch really quickly and just add pressure on my opponent. So he's defending his physical. Well, let's face it, the whole card looks amazing just the pace is a little bit of a downfall with the team of the season i'm hoping that goes up to at least 75 then with the shadow chemistry style again he's going to be quick i will buy his team of the season that's for sure so 87 race to casimiro i like that we got him from our monthly rewards the two strikers up top the first one is going to be jorgensen a six foot three looks like um ebra like player i want to say he doesn't have the skill moves his physical dribbling passing shooting and pace is all pretty good so might as well try him another play that we got from our monthly rewards and this guy quincy proms four star weak foot four star skill moves his card looks great even in a cam position maybe but i would recommend playing him as a striker i did mention that i had him in a 4-3-3 side his non-inform as a right wing i got on with him he's he's shooting his shots across goal his finesse shots he's lovely he suits the game mechanics and 120,000 coins isn't even a bad price for the stats that he's bringing to the team we dropped in tornsra i liked when i used him on my main account just a solid box-to-box -box player uh, giuliano that I will more than likely switch up the formation as soon as it starts um, to a 4 one 2 one 2 defensive. So I'll play Casemiro as the out-and-out -out CDM with uh, Giuliano moved to a cam position, whereas Hullet can offer uh, Casemiro a bit more support. I like it, man. It, it's a, it looks like a good team. Whether or not it plays like that, we're going to find out. But custom tactics, here we go. So speed... 
passing, you know, that's what I like. With the chance creation and shooting, it's going to be 60 or 65, depends on how I feel on the day. Pressure 65, aggression 60, and the team weight 45. I think we are ready. I don't know how. Honestly, I don't know how this pressure and aggression is going to work with someone like Casemiro because he's not that quick, but we're going to find out. Right. Let's go to Division 1, boys. Are we all fully fit? No, he's not. Right, let me go and apply a fitness card on him and move into the games. First game, and we are up against the throwback m and &E And is that Wellington? I think that is Wellington. Wellington and m and &E up top. Well done, Giuliano. Yes, over the top. Quincy, over to Jorgensen. I should really press start and change um, what I'm doing with Hullet because I don't really like him in a cam position. Whoa, that shooting was a little off. Oh, that was a cracking ball over to Wellington. And he's finished it off already. Nice well played. And through ball. <sighs> mm, I did play that pass. Just didn't register for some reason. I think it's because he was going in for the challenge. Flick it through. Oh, Quincy Proms. I'm telling you, his Nordian form was lovely. And through. Through ball. I don't think he saw that ball. I kind of disguised the pass there. Casimiro. 2-1. And that's what you want from a CDM. If he does push up, make sure to finish it off. Otherwise, I don't want to get caught on the counter. Jorgensen doesn't feel that great. Not going to lie. Yeah, go on, Jorgensen. Power. You, yes, go on. Oh, my. He must have heard me. He proved me wrong. He doesn't feel that good. Nice finish, though. I would say whoever we are playing is good at FIFA. I feel, though, we're controlling the game. It's going to be on the counter-attack, though. I just want to track him with him. Good. Casimiro again. Let's go, man. He's playing so well. Nice turn from Quincy. Just waiting for the correct pass. Scoop turn him there. Put him through. Finish. Giuliano. It's a goal. I'm offside. I'm just, I'm just trying to flick to Casimiro. Hold him off. So he wants to make that pass there. I covered it. Instead of rushing in for the challenge and basically committing and giving him options, I just held off. Oh, Jorgensen. What? He actually handled that outside the box. I'm pretty sure that came off of uh, Buffon's hand. Three ball. That's it, Quincy. Go on. He's so quick, man. I'm taking the shot with him because I want to get the re... Giuliano... Oh, from there, M and EK, no. 85th minute, he's made it 3-2. He is not drawing this game. He does not deserve it. That was a good finish, though. And then through. Quincy, finish the game off. Let's go. 4-2. Definitely have won this game. He tried to get back into the game very late on with that M and EK goal. Fantastic finish. Did he? No, we went on to score and make it 4-2. Good result, actually, and Quincy feels great. The only problem that I have right now with the team is Giuliano. Last time I used him, it was the team of the group stage version. Awesome card. This non-inform feels a little bit weak, especially in the final third as I'm switching the right centre mid with the cam as soon as the game starts. So Giuliano is letting me down at times. Quincy is running the show. Agile, quick, good finish. He should have had a hat-trick in the last game. We are ready for the second game though. Let's continue this form. What is up with all these foot birthday cards today? Sirigu and Nani. I tried Nani on my main account and he was good. Over the top. Is it going to bounce? Yes, it is. Oh, Quincy. Boom. It's going to be a goal. I have noticed that his across shot goals are better than his finesse shots. He can still do them, though. Good link up. My players are just taking that extra touch. Well done, Quincy. Over to Casimiro. Good hold up. Pull it across. Again, another shot that is a little bit poor. 1-0 at the break, and it should be at least two goals to us. Poor decision-making from me. I've missed uh, a lot of my chances. Anyway, second half, come on. Uh, he's messed up. He's messed up. Jorgensen, through ball. Berber spin, pass across. Wow, <laughs> he's sliding all over the place. Oh, right in behind Messi. No, uh, it's his first shot on target as well. Well done, Casemiro. Nice awareness. You've got... Wow, what port... That was terrible defending. For Division 1, 
I mean, he just literally let me run straight through. Simple pass to Promes. I can't say that was a good goal at all. Cool. Well done, Casemiro. I didn't even trigger that. That was just an automatic slide tackle. Ah, that was a good take from... Oh my god, him to spinning. I'm literally just spinning. I'm going to hit him with that Berber scoop turn. Ah, oh, I was opening up for the scoop turn. He thought I was going to hit the Berber spin. Another strong display at the back. In the first half, he didn't have that many chances at all. Second half, he got that goal, which, yeah, put me on a little bit of pressure. And then towards the end, he did take control as he had loads of people in the attack. We played well, though, and some nice goals from Proms. So in the last game, I was playing it like this. I would take off Giuliano as soon as the game started, bring on Kante, so our midfield would look like that exactly like that hadn't bothered changing to 4 one 2 2 either just sticking with the 4 3 one 2 Hula in that cam position obviously he's going to play well I find that he's much more efficient as a centre mid though because you can use his pace to track back use it also to spread the play going forward in a cam spot though yeah he is doing a good job Jorgensen I had like him kind of just is a little bit slow and with Quincy he's the best player right now for me he's actually killing it so let's go into the last game guys the team is not fully fit let me apply that bronze uh, fitness card and see if we can get some more goals man a hat trick of foot birthday cards today first second and third game this time he's got s fine who isn't that great that little dip who's that oh good strength from uh, Jurgensen over to Quincy as a penalty I'm gonna take it with Lauren Blanc yeah, it's gone straight underneath him. His own player has just tackled him. And it's going to allow me to come on the counter. What a pass from Proms. Pull it. He's not going to miss. And that's 2-0. Over the top. First time pass from Hullet. <laughs> that playmaking ability right there. Just turned him. Oh, that's another pen. Yeah, I thought so. I'm going to bang this one. Yeah, let's go. At least this time, it isn't a DC for myself. He's lost connection with me. He rage quit. I think we're going to a fourth game. I'm not loving the team. Let me put that straight. I'm not loving the team. I'm loving this Quincy Proms. 3-4-2-1 formation. If he knows how to play, it is very difficult to get the ball back off him. He's got so many options in the midfield and in the attack. We need to take control of the game and fast. Good challenge from Tornstra. Yes, perfect pass. Hull it. Ooh. Right, I'm hitting this front post. He's going to bring out his player. Two bar. It's in. At least Jurgensen was good for something, and that was winning the ball at front post. <laughs> oh, dear. This game is funny. Because that stuff happens to me in the weekend league all the time. Going to smack that ball down the line. Hold him off. Yes, Jurgensen. He's strong. I'll give him that. He's very, very strong. Going to cut back on the inside. A uh, bit of a poor shot. Twanstra. It's a goal. Wow. Yeah, he can't clear his lines right now. That's a good part. Oh, my. That run from Jorgensen. All right. I'll take that. I mean, he's, not, he's not that bad, really. It's just his pace. I could stick on a Hunter Chemistar, but are you really wanting to spend 5k on him? Nah. So I thought he was going to rage quit after the third goal. He pressed start. Maybe he's changed up his formation. Let me quickly uh, take a look. Player ratings. Yeah, he has. Go on, Casemiro. Go on, Casemiro. Wow. Nice shot. That's where I feel that if I had Kante in that position with his pace, he would have been able to put Human Son under a little bit more pressure. Well done. See, there you go. He's made up for that. Over the top. Quincy. Here we go. One touch. It's coming. One touch. <laughs> nah. Oh, that's terrible defending. He's going to get the rebounds. He has actually got back into the game. 82nd minute. In the second half, he was the better player. He addressed what was going wrong, switched up his formation to 4-3-1-2, uh, which matched mine, and he was uh, really good defensively after that. So, yeah, we did create a few chances, though. We were a little bit unlucky. We deserve to win though. From the first half performance, we did dominate. So you guys know what I'm about to say. 86 rated Quincy Proms by him. 60,000 coins, I would say his price is going to drop to. Rewards come out at 6 o'clock. If you see him for that, I'd pick him up. What he's bringing to your team, incredible speed. Yes, we applied the Hawk chemistry style, so keep that in mind. He's so quick. Agile, he's finishing. He likes to shoot across goal. Those are his preferred strikes. When I was taking the finesse shots, 
at times he didn't really get that much power behind it, but it just could have been the gameplay and the way I was playing. Yeah, he does prefer that shot across goal though. Two things that I dislike about the card. Let's keep, let's clear this up. His strength. If you're someone that is relying on the shielding technique and the mechanic, then you're not going to get on with the card if someone was to bring him in for his technical skill. And then the second thing is his league. It kills the card for me anyway. Unless you're on the Xbox and you've got the luxury of using legends like Rud Hullet or any other Dutch legends, then how would you get him into a team? You could possibly use the 4-3-2-1 formation. You've got yourself Depay left wing. Quincy Striker and Robin in that right wing position. I can see why people wouldn't want to use Robin though, uh, due to that two star weak foot. That is just awful. So, yeah, Quincy is good though. Jurgensen, as you would expect, slow, good shot, nice hold up play. Wouldn't go as far as to recommend him though. Casemiro was quality. His positioning, hold, holding on to possession for me, quality of tackle, strength, and even going forward at times, he doesn't feel that slow. Although in the last game, you saw how Human Sun ran past him. If I had Hullet or Kante in that position, maybe I would have been able to put a little bit more pressure on Human Sun. I'm not going to say he wouldn't have scored, just saying like uh, if I had someone else with a bit more pace, maybe it would have been a different story. He was good though. I can't fault him for that. That was one mistake out of the four games that I played. And defensively, defensively the team was, was all right. So anyway, guys, recommending... Quincy. Bye, Quincy. He is a beast. I'm going to sell him, though, because he will drop. And, yeah. Anyway, if you've enjoyed today's episode, make sure to leave a like, guys. Team of the Season Most Consistent has been, well, not announced. They're on Draft 4, and it's not looking that great. So, yeah, the Team of the Season hype won't come until, like, the Premier League or the Serie A. We shall see which one gets released first. Thanks for watching. Team out. Peace.